Hey guys, Loot Wizard here, and it is the first Friday of the month, which means we have a new mythic, Zillow Poached Wee. This is a troop that I think will be interesting. We're going to take a look at its abilities and stuff, and then we're going to go and open a bunch of keys and see if we can get it. Uh, but yeah, this is the picture here of what uh, the troop looks like, the art for it. So let's go ahead and uh, go take a look here. And there it is. So it is a 25 mana cost, and it is green, blue, and purple. It's from the Suncrest Kingdom, and it is considered a Strix Undead troop type. Looking at its ability here, it says it deals 32 damage to an enemy boosted by purple gems, and it looks like the boost is a 1 to 1 ratio. So if you do have. Uh, let's say 20 purple gems, which is really high, but if you do have a storm going, that is possible. Uh, and so that would be, give you an extra 20 magic damage onto that. Now, here's the thing. It says, if there is a storm, deal double damage. If the enemy dies, create 12 skulls. So it's got a few things going on here. Double damage is very nice. Um, so... This and you probably want you probably do want to use a storm with this troop just so you can get that double damage, and there's lots of ways we can do that now. Uh, there's lots of troops with uh, causing a storm every single turn, so it shouldn't be that hard. Looking at its traits, the first one will inflict death mark when doing a skull damage. Second one gives it immunity to poison, disease, and death mark. Now, uh, the third one is, though, what <laughs> I was kind of shocked by when I first saw it was uh, it says deal 12 damage to a random enemy when matching yellow gems. Okay, so 12 damage is pretty significant every time you match yellow gems. And, and if you use, let's say, the uh, Strix class, which is the Stormcaller, we're going to have a constant yellow. Uh, we're going to have a, a light storm going on. So you're going to have constant yellow gems, and that could be used as a way to... Uh, do lots and lots of damage uh, kind of passively there with its third trait. But uh, it doesn't use yellow color, so, you know, uh, I'm going to have to play around with it after I get it. Hopefully we'll get it. I saved up a lot of keys. I save up all my keys so that I can open uh, them to try to get the new Mythic every month. So that's my strategy. Uh, but, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a pretty good troop. I like the passive damage here, the 12 damage to a random enemy on mashing yellow gems. I like the fact that it can get double damage if there's an active storm. Uh, if the enemy dies, creates 12 skulls. That could be useful. We're going to have to see if there's troops, um, you know, that can take advantage of that. But, uh, yeah, so the uh, one thing that I'm, I don't think it... I was wondering, looking at this, if the enemy dies, create 12 skulls. I think that only works for the ability and not for the trait. So, for example, if an enemy dies uh, because of this 12 damage on its trait, I do not think... I haven't tested it yet because I don't own this troop. Um, and But I don't think that will activate the uh, 12 skulls here. It looks like that's just a part of the ability. So, looks like a really cool troop. I really like the art for it. Uh, Zillow Poachedly. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it looks like it's uh, based off of maybe uh, a god of the South American area. Um, that's my best guess. Anyway, uh, moving on here, let's go to the keys. I'm excited to open keys. I haven't opened keys in a month, except for gold keys. Uh, but I've been saving all my glory keys, gem keys, and all that good stuff. The only thing I didn't save, though, was my guild seal uh, keys, my guild keys. Um, I, I should have done that, but it's too late now. I opened them, and I didn't even get a mythic out of it either. So, All right, so uh, I think my strategy this time around is going to be opening glory keys first, and uh, I do have quite a bit of glory here, uh, 300, over 300,000, so I'm probably going to open uh, glory maybe like 50,000 glory after my glory keys and uh, hopefully we'll get it in that amount if we don't then I'm going to dip into my gem keys a little bit but I always try to get lucky because <laughs> you know uh, we gotta we gotta hope that we're lucky because otherwise you can just burn through just <laughs> so many keys it's crazy but uh, fun times here let's go ahead and see 
Uh, first 200 glory keys. Let's see if we can get it. And we did not. We only got one legendary. It's kind of unfortunate, but, uh, you know, we also got a few uh, other troops. Emperor Corvash, though, is a really good legendary troop. In case anyone was wondering. Like most people that own it <laughs> already realize it's a good troop. But I opened 200 glory keys and not a single legendary. It makes me sad. Oh, uh, at least we got two legendaries this time. We got Karnax, which uh, I haven't used Karnax in a while, but uh, decent legendary. And we got three legendaries. Uh, Bunny Nog is not great. Dark Monolith, uh, kind of below average. Lost is more annoying than anything to fight against. It's not super powerful, it's just really annoying. Uh, there we go, Sir Quentin Hadley. Uh, it's actually a really good legendary troop. Gives all night, ally, uh, all night troops 50% starting mana. Willow isn't too bad either. Uh, here I am uh, chasing this mythic and I'm just like stopping to, to uh, <laughs> appreciate the legendaries that I'm getting. So Queen Moonclaw, I have not actually really used this troop. Create nine skulls boosted by green allies and enemies. Summon a random knoll. Uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, I might try to play around with some of these troops, some of these legendaries that I haven't used yet. Um, but, yeah, no, not even a legendary there either. Glory keys. So we got... Uh, couple of legendaries there this one used to be really really good in the in the old days when you know there wasn't a whole lot of uh these awesome troops now this one's still i mean it's just it's more obnoxious than anything but there are a lot of troops now that have immunity to mana drain emperor liang is actually a really good support legendary troop uh, trading it here, enchant a random ally in four or five matches. Destroys gems, gives uh, allies life and magic. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of comment on uh, some of these legendaries as, <laughs> as we're going along. Uh, Starflower. Uh, you know, it's one of those damaged all enemies, uh, which isn't a horrible damage type, but it's boosted by ally and enemy fey, which uh, whenever they say it's boosted by the enemies thing, I don't really like that because you... Uh, you can't control really what the enemy is going to be using, but it does have a 20% chance to transform a random enemy into a pixie. So that's interesting. Whoa, we got uh, three legendaries here. Best one without a doubt is uh, probably Hindel Frost Crown, but uh, Hydra, man, I'll just never use Hydra. It's like one of the worst legendaries in the game. I don't know how to make it any better. Web Spinner. Uh, that's a good legendary. We're closing in now. We're in the last thousand. Glory Keys. And I had what? 3,500? Ooh, Gorgotha. Hey. That's an old friend. And a new friend, because on my new playthrough account, uh, yeah, man, I was so happy to get him over there. Uh, we got this guy here, which actually uh, is interesting. The last trait on this legendary troop is actually from the same kingdom as the mythic we're trying to get. But it will deal 10 damage to a random enemy on 4 or 5 match. So imagine if we combine this with uh, the new mythic troop, if we can get it, with a storm. We get a lot of four or five matches and match a bunch of yellow gems. That might be pretty devastating, actually. Of course, you never know until you try it. You know, that's the thing. A lot, a lot of ideas I have for teams. I'm, I'm like thinking, like in theory, it sounds like this one would, this team setup would be good. And then when you try it, it doesn't work out quite the way you think. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time though. Uh, Queen Titania is actually really good. Uh, damage to all enemies boosted by red uh, allies and uh, enemies. And then if there's 13 or more red gems, gain an extra turn. Uh, 
Another Karnax. So now we've we've chewed through all of our glory keys. 3,500. Uh, so we're going to go into the glory. Why not? I have over uh, 300,000 here. We might as well just start opening 50 at a time. We might stop a little bit uh, to see the scenery of any orange colored cards that pop up. Wow. You're telling me there's no legendaries that want to say hello? There we go. Crimson Bat. True damage. Uh, gains life. It's not horrible, but it's not amazing either. And we got another Crimson Bat. He came back to say hello. Back to back. It was kind of strange. Uh, I'm going to burn through a bunch of my glory. King Selness. Uh, great legendary troop, actually. They they boosted it last year or buffed it. Whatever you want to. However you want to say that. They increased its stats. It's actually pretty good now. Another Hindel Frost Crown. All we need is for uh, one of these keys to be the uh, trigger a mythic, and it's going to be the uh, new one. Because so this all week long, this is what it's going to be. So if you open your uh, guild keys, your glory keys, gem keys, or VIP keys, all of those locations, this whole week is going to give you. Uh, the chance to get the new mythic troop and you know we'll see here I'd like to save my gem keys there's Orion uh, not a horrible legendary troop but uh, I don't use it that often Wow, we're not really getting uh, too many legendaries here. I, I, I thought I was going to get more legendaries uh, out of my glory keys than this, but... I think, I, well, actually, this is just glory that's being converted into that. Actually, I think I was getting more legendary cards out of the actual... Um, there's Emperor Liang again. Out of the actual uh, glory keys. Divinia. Great legendary... Hey, we got this guy again. Tello, Teloka? I think. Unless the C is a different sound for that name. Gog and Good is not a good legendary. <laughs> just, it isn't. I've tried to use it in teams before and it just, I've never been impressed by it. Wow, okay. I think the hardest legendary or uh, large, the hardest mythic that I have gotten is the Mother of Darkness. And I didn't actually, I did record a video on it, but I never ended up uplo uploading it. And we got Yao here. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I never ended up. Uh, uploading it because I accidentally deleted it but it was like a 40 minute long video of me opening like a hundred thousand glory keys of course I went through gem keys I went through VIP keys uh, I think I spent like six thousand uh, gems on VIP keys I still didn't get it and then I came to glory and I was in a situation where I burned through about a hundred thousand glory and I finally got it in glory uh, so yeah I'm hoping this <laughs> this isn't another one of those cases, you know. But I have quite a bit of glory here, so I'm going to burn through. I might go down to 250. There's Tints and Tail. It's not a bad uh, legendary troop. I might go down to about 250,000 glory maybe, and then we'll go open gem keys 
Obviously, gem keys have the higher rate. And Infernal King. Um, I mean, I do have enough gems where I can dip into VIP keys too. But it always feels good to get a Mythic Troop out of glory. Ah, uh, there's another Gorgotha. Kristen X. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Uh, I wish that uh, all of the imps dropped from this because I'm still missing the winter imp and the autumnal uh, imp. Nimu, there it is. That's actually a pretty good legendary troop. Another Queen Titania. Glitter Claw. Not bad. Well, we got about 12,000 more glory and another Hindel Frost Crown. Yeah, now we got about 10,000 glory down to my uh, 50,000 mark. Well, I started at like 320 Gloom Leaf. I started at 320, so actually going down to 50 is going to give me, uh, how much? How much is that? So 50, to, so 70,000 uh, glory. E, yikes. The drop rate in glory is not that high. But there has been months where I have gotten, hey, there's Divinia again. Uh, there have been months where I opened glory uh, keys and I got the mythic right away. So, um, yeah, well, we just burned through <laughs> 70,000 glory and we have not had any luck. So I don't want to really use my gem keys, but it looks like we're going to have to. Because I want this guy right here, Zillow po Pochtali. I'm just going to open 50 at a time. We got Wrath. Captain McCaw. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out a team with this troop, but he's got such a weird ability. He's got an instant kill, but it's only if the enemy is submerged. And there's no real reliable way to submerge the enemy. It's easy. Bunny Nog, Shadow Dragon. Queen Mab. Oh, there's a Spring Imp. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because it is springtime, right? Divine Ishbala. Really great legendary troop there. You gotta be kidding me. Like, the my luck this month is bad. So bad. And, uh, yeah, we got a few legendaries there. Come on, new mythic. <sighs> come on, come on. Uh, my birthday is this month, so come on. Be a great little uh, present for me to get this new mythic. Keeper of Souls, that's actually a really good legendary troop because it can transform any gem color to skulls. Uh, you can get a lot of extra matches that way and do a lot of skull damage. Shagra. Wow. Wow. 700 gem keys down the drain. And we do not have any luck. That is crazy. That is totally crazy. Grab my tribute real quick. 
go back into it. Maybe closing this and going back into it will uh, <laughs> increase my luck. So anyway, let's uh, let's continue to open glory because. You know, I'll do another ten or twenty thousand of this, and then maybe we'll open up some VIP. I like to avoid VIP if I can, just because it it uses up a lot of gems. Well, worst case scenario, I will craft this mythic troop if I don't get it in keys. But, uh, yeah, this is some really bad luck. There's Gorgotha for like the third or fourth time. Wow. Well, when the RNG is against you, this is uh, it's pretty bad. So, yeah, I guess we're going to... <laughs> I guess we're going to VIP keys here for a second. All right. Uh... Yeah, I don't really want to use a lot, but, you know, I really want this mythic troop. Gems are easier to get for me than diamonds, so uh, let's go at it. <laughs> and I got two of them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, maybe. Oh, man. Okay, so I had so much bad luck that one, <laughs> one opening of uh, VIP chest and I got two of them. What kind of crazy luck is that? Well, I, I spent, oh, man, I spent like 80,000 glory uh, 3,500 glory keys, over 700 gem keys, nothing, nothing. Wow. All right, let's take a second, admire this. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this. Boom, screenshot, just so I can save the memory. This is my birthday uh, month, so this is my birthday mythic. That's, that's what I'm uh, seeing it as. I got two. I'm happy with that because uh, if I double them up, it's actually this this might be a good troop to have more than one because if you have uh, this traded here, imagine that. Every single yellow gem that you match is going to do 24 damage because you're going to have two of them. Wow, okay, so that, that, that might actually be uh, pretty interesting. And then, uh, so just really quick here to admire some of the legendary troops that we got. Emperor Liang, Garuda, Glitterclaw, Kristanax, Sir Quentin Hadley, and Umerwolf. And we got one of all of those. Usually, when I open these VIP keys, I usually end up getting, like, duplicates of legendaries. But instead, we got a duplicate of uh, Zillow Pochtoli, uh, the new mythic troop. And we got lots of other uh, troops here, lots of arcanes, another 100,000 gold. But yeah, uh, there it is, and we did get it. So, wow, had some bad luck to start with, ended with some good luck. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a nice sight to see that. So, uh, worst case scenario, you just save up your diamonds and you can craft it in the Soul Forge when it comes around again. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to come up with some teams and uh, what we can do with this troop. It looks like an interesting one. Uh, certainly my first impression of it, just looking at its abilities uh, and its traits, it does look like it's going to be uh, a pretty decent mythic troop. I don't know if it will reach into, like, top 10, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. It's not bad. There's There's been other mythic troops that they've released. Like, looking at you, uh, a shade of of Zorn, uh, the, uh, the orc mythic, the second one, like the first one is like the worst mythic in the game. And then they came out with a second mythic, uh, orc troop and it's still bad. Like the orcs just can't get any, uh, any help at all. Uh, it's, it's kind of sad, but anyway, uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. I know it's just a, a key opening. Hopefully that was a little entertaining for you. And, uh, uh, I'll probably post a team at some point in the near future on some teams that I cook up with this new Mythic Troop. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching as always. And uh, 
I will see you guys on the next video. Later.